Okay, welcome to part four of the design of one story building in Boda structure. And today I'll be showing you how to insert a cantilever slab and a cantilever load and how to insert story in Boda structure. So if you have not watched the part one, part two, and part three of this video, I will say you should check on this video description and you will see all the links where you can watch the part one, part two, and part three. They are all free of charge. Okay, so right now, to, to now begin to insert our cantilever slab right now and cantilever load right now, I will say you should um, click on this place called concrete member and then click on slab icon here as you can see there right now and on this place right now where you have type choose type 12 Th type 12 is for cantilever so you choose type 12 right now and you will now see this place called L cant. This L cant simply means length of cantilever. And also, if you check, so we, we, we now want to know the length of our cantilever from this point to this point. And we will now have to now can offset this grid right now using the length. So, right now, if we check from our file here, which is this place, AutoCAD right now, we have also attached this plan, link to this plan on our video description so that you can use this plan also to now also practice. So, check on the video description and get this and, and, and get this plan and practice alongside. So, right now, if you check on this place right now to now locate the, the, the cantilever length right now from the face of the beam as you can see here or wall to the edge of the cantilever is 300 you can see it here why from the center line if you want to now offset the line right now from the grid line right here or from the axis to, to this very point right now is 413 you can see it here 413 so right now we're going to offset this this length first for 413 and, and knowing that our cantilever length is 300 so right now we'll just um, minimize here right now and then go here first of all right now we want to go and offset this place first of all so we go here right now and offset this grid line right now to as that length of 413 which was given to us so we'll go offset right now to now offset your grid line in put that structure you have to use uh, once you click on the grid line and then show you the place you want to uh, offset it if it is left hand side you just direct it here it is this place direct it here also but right now we are going this way right now so i will now type shift key f2 you can see there f2 to now so show you how you can type in your length so since we are going left hand side you have to put minus sign if you're going right hand side you put positive sign so right now we'll just go ahead right now and put minus sign of our length of 413 as it was given to us here in autocad as you can see here 413 from grid line to the edge of the cantilever is 413 so right now we'll go, go right now and can, um, say okay just type the enter key right now automatically you will see that your um, once you click here and type enter key right now you can see that um you have you are you are seeing your distance now showing here right now okay so right now the length of our can the length of our right now becomes um 300 because we have already oscillated this right now so we go again here see again right now again we go here again right now and then click at this place right now to see the cantilever length of this from edge of the beam or wall this place is 450 y here was 300 and then we check again what we are going to offset from the grid line from the grid line to the edge of cantilever is five six two so we're going to offset this right now five six two to cantilever edge so we go here right now and click on this place right click and then say offset axis and since we are going upward right now we'll type shift f2 and then type our length which is um um which is um which is four five six two okay and then click on what they call enter and then you can see our cantilever length here also so uh, sorry our we have also uh, yeah we have now offset this cantilever edge right now so right now it's, it's not gonna insert our cantilever slab right now now our cantilever slab right now starts from the edge of this place it starts from the edge of this beam onto this place right now so so the cantilever slab length is 300 on this area and on this area right now if you check on the edge again to this place right now it is 450 as you can see here right now so we go here right now to go and effect that changes right now so we go here right now click on the concrete member right now and click on the slab and then go here right now and choose the type of slab to be cantilever which is type 12 and then we'll go here right now and impute our length of cantilever on this side first which is 300 so we put it right now 300 and then we now go here right now and then click on this place load to now go and load our cantilever to now go and apply the cantilever load on the edge of the cantilever right now so right now on this part on this cantilever load right now you have to input parapet load which is same thing called cantilever load but this software just use parapet as a load but the load the main name for it mainly is called cantilever load so right now to get the cantilever load right now 
I'll say, yeah, let me just show you how to calculate the calculated load right now, so that you, you so that you see that we are not guessing any any value. So once this this one this calculator right right now comes up right now, I'll show you how to get the calculated load perfectly right now. Because most of you have been asking me questions on how to get the calculated load right now. So right now we will have to now go and get our calculated load right now to get to to get it right now. I'll tell you that you, you can also check on Google. The first of all, you check on Google what is the unit weight of a brick wall. So the unit weight of of a brick wall is 2.87 2.87 kN per meter cube that is the unit weight of a brick wall so right now this is the unit weight of of a block wall of one block wall this is this is the weight of one block wall so right now since block is going to sit on the edges of this cantilever it is block that that will be sitting here and not uh, and not um ray and even though it, even if it is ray, like all this steel ray that will sit on the cantilever, I would say you should, you should still use the same weight that to like put here because when they are building the building, in maybe later in the future they might go and change that iron ray to put a block wall. So that's why you have to design for a worse condition. So to get your your cantilever load, you have to use um, first of all the weight of the of the block, which is the block which is the block um, block unit weight, which is given to us by 2.87 which you can also get from Google. just type on Google what is the weight of one block which is the just say what is the weight of the of one block or of one brick um, block so it will give you as 2.87 so this is the this is the unit weight of one block right now and then knowing that a building must have a plaster on the left hand side and also on the right hand side so so you must have to plaster the building inward and outward so you have to also and you, you also have you also have to impute that plaster load right now because plaster alone has its own load so right now plaster load is given by 0 0.3 which is on the other side so at 0 0.3 on one side of the building here you can see the 0 0.3 is given as a plaster load here and then also we also add again 0 0.3 again because you also plaster the other side of the building also so add again 0 0.3 also and then equals to that gives us 3.47 so this is this is the weight or the, or the cantilever load for a 9 inches block wall because we are using the size of 2 to 5, 2 to 5. So for 9 inches wall or for 2 to 5 block wall, you have to use 3.47. So this is the weight for you to use for a cantilever load for a 9 inches block wall. So we have to now copy this load right now and then go here right now, paper load right now and then paste that load right now, 3.47 as you can see there right now. But since right now, this is the unit weight, so right, right now, so and since we are going upward right now, since this building is going upward, since we have, this is for one meter long building, but since this building is going all the way down to three meter right now, we will not have to times, we will not have to multiply this right now by the height of our building. The height of this building right now is three meters, so I will not have to times it right now by three. That gives me the total weight right now that is going all the way down to the building. Now, right now, if you subtract this, if you subtract the the um the beam thickness of the first floor which which is um three which is 450 right now so if our building height is three meter right now and then you now subtract the slab thickness because on the roof there is no slab so if you subtract the slab thickness from that place right now for us 150 you have this place left 2.85 right now so this is the ultra place that block wall is going to occupy so right now we will not have to use this right now as our height of building right now so we will not have to now multiply um we will not now multiply 2.85 which is the height of our building with this unit weight of block right now which is three with, sorry multiplied by sorry that gives you yeah, multiplied by 3.47 and that gives us what 9.8 um nine approximately so we go here right now and impute 9.89 most times i most times i used to use 9.81 because if i still go deep again to explain to you again you have you now have your value to be 9.81 or 9.81 yeah but right now you can use 9.81 for your cantilever load so once you are done setting your cantilever depth of slab and then impute your cantilever length which is 300 in this case and then impute your um parapet load right now so you now have to now go and start imputing it right now. So to insert your cantilever load right, to, to insert your cantilever slab right now, I would say you should just click on one point here and then click on the other point again right now, the column, and then click outside right now. 
You can see that here right now that we have inserted our account lever load right now, perfectly right now. And then to also insert on this place right now, knowing that this other end right here right now has a hard account lever length of 450 right now, as you checked here on our on our talk here, that this place is 300 and this place is 450. So we'll now go here right now and just change the value from this account lever length here to 450 because we want to insert on this other side right now. So we'll put here 450 and then click at this point of the column right now. And you must insert your account lever from column to column. So put here also and insert here right now and click outside here you can also see that it has okay then go here again right now again and you can see that we have it is showing here and this all this place have a can cleaver out of this end right now so we'll go and begin to input it right now click here and also click here and click outside and then click at this point and click at this point right now and and click outside and then click at this point and click at this point and click outside and then click at this point and click at this point and click outside okay so you cannot see that we have successfully inputted our can cleaver look as you can see it here on all the buildings can see there right now then click on what they call um escape right now okay so you can now see how, how we have successfully did all our account lever slab as you can see there right now perfectly as you can see there right now so we will now go here right now there should be a flush on this place right now you can see that here tends to be broken as you can see here but normally it is meant to flush together so right now so for you to flush right now just click on this one you have already put right now by click on these properties and then click on what they just think about just think about what, what will happen here right now and click on what they call updates so not right now it will just flush right now so you cannot see that we have successfully inputted our account lever slab as you can see there right now and also the load right now now if your own does not have load you will not be able to see this right now so you have to go here right now right click and insert that load if this parapet load is not inputted there you won't be able to see this 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 symbol of um load right now on on, on your cantilever slab right now so you cannot see how we have put that right now okay so right now we will now have to now click on what they call close right here right now now since we have imputed our cantilever slab right now we will now have to now go and impute our um insert our load so that we can come to an end of this video right now for this part four so right now now can insert load right now can insert story right now to insert your story which is the first um story which is the first floor right now we will have to now go and Click on this place right now and then click on this place called insert story right now so once we click on insert story right now then click on what they call two because here i can if you check here right now I see, first of all if you check here right now you can see that this this this, this ground floor is called story one so so if you want to insert the next story you have to type two so since this is for one story building you have to type two for a two story building you type four so right now we now go here right now and then um go to the sorry for two story building you type three so right now you now go here right now and click on what they call insert story since this is just for one story building you now go here right now and start number of story to insert two and then click on what they call okay so right now you click on what they call yes just say yes and then right now you cannot see that we now have on this place story one and story two right now so right now we go here right now and click on story one again right now and then we have to now go and copy what we have here on on this story one right, right now to onto the story two now the whole idea right now is to create your roof beam because this is for one story building right now so to now go and copy all the all, all the beams and column onto the upper floor story right now you click on this place called building setup right now and then click on 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 what they call generate story now you must be on story one else it will not have to um it, it will not work so click on this place right now and click on this place called generate story right now and so right now this one now show right now we will not have to not target so our source story right now is to copy from story one to story two right now and then since we are trying to generate our slab I'm uh, sorry our roof beams right now i'll just say you have to uncheck your slab right now but if the, but just to show you that if you're also inserting for upper um, let me say you're designing for a five-story building there is no need for you to remove your slab because there is slab also on on the second and, and third story but right now we'll just click on what they call okay right now so you can now see that we now have our, our ground floor right now which is this place and this is now our first floor right now and this is now our roof area right now now knowing that roof does not have um beam because sorry roof does not have slab because we don't want to um use um we don't we, we don't we don't want to use concrete roof on this area we want to use a roofing aluminum sheet to roof this building right now so we will not have to go and remove all our slab um all, all our slab on this roof level so we will not have to now go here right now on this story too right now because this is now this now becomes our roof um we just have because our roof level right now which, which is our roof beam and then remove all our slab on this roof level right now so we will have to remove all our slab on the roof level right now and have only slab on the first floor right now so you can see what i'm doing right now to remove my 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 slab on even the cantilever slab will be taken off from the roof level why we leave it only on the on the on the first floor level okay so you can now see that what i'm doing right now i'm taking off all, all of all the slab right now 
So you can now see that this now becomes our roof level and this now becomes our slab level. Now since you took off the since now since you took off the since you took off the slab from the roof level right now, you can see that right now, you can see what we have right now, that this is now this now becomes our first floor and this now becomes our roof level right now. Why right here is our ground floor and here is the first floor. So right now, since you took off slab from this roof level right now, you will now have to go and remove slab thickness from this roof beam right now. So the roof beam right now will now become 300. So, so right now, on this story 2 right now, I would say you should click on this beam, on this story 2 right now, right click on this place and say, um, summary table right now we are will see all our beams on the roof level which is which is the story too now right now we will now have to go on this place right now called the depth of the beam right now we will have to click here right now to remove this the that slab thickness of 150 from this place right now so click on this place right now and then click on this place called column wise edit right now and then we will now have to now and change the depth of the beam for the roof level to 300 because if you subtract 450 from um from if if you remove 150 which is the slab thickness from 450 you have to you will get 300 so click on what they call okay so we have now reduced our our beam depth for the roof level to 300 as you can see here 300 so right now you can see how to insert story right now on this about so you, so you have not seen how to insert story perfectly for this level right now so this is how to insert story perfectly and so you we have come to the end of the part four of how to insert story right now so in our next video right now i will show you that if, if you check on our on, on this our plan right now you can see that the this our ground floor plan and our first floor plan is not the same because there is a shift of cantilever for this uh, on our first floor and with that right now all these columns showing pink right now or showing magenta color is it is to be removed from this place so all this column we have to now shift from this point right now onto this cantilever edge right now so we will have to shift this the, all this column right now from this point to this point because else this is how it will appear and it's not good because the column right there is trying to show on the door side you can see it right now on the first floor but 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 on the ground floor it is okay but on the first floor there was a shift on the on the floor plan so we have not gone also edit that shift right now to shift these columns which are showing on the empty space onto to hide them on this other side of the first floor beams on, on the first floor wall area so that's what i'll show you on the part five so i will say that if you have not clicked on the subscribe button you should just subscribe on this uh, channel Ekidel, so you don't miss the coming part of this video okay so thank you so much and we have come to the end of the part four which is to show you how to uh, how to insert cantilever slab and also how to insert and also how to insert story and also how to insert and cantilever load okay so and also if you have any comment concerning what we are doing here right now i would say you should just um you, you should just chat us up on whatsapp using our using our whatsapp number which you can see on our on our about page or directly on this video description okay so thank you so much and god bless you all for being to the end of this part four video and then watch out for part five which will now begin to um adjust or edit the this um this on um, first floor plan right here on product structure so god bless you and then we welcome you all right now